Hi, hi, hello. So, yes, to answer your suspicions, I did indeed die. Well, actually, I almost died? Emotional, not clickbait. Uh, but seriously, my year has been weird to say the least. Uh, I was sick for like a month, and when we went to the doctor, every medical professional there looked at me and was like, ooh, ooh. And I kid you not, at least five of them commented independently on how pale I was. Now, I'm naturally pretty pale, but I guess somehow I was even paler because just every single one of them looked at me and were like, ee, vampire. Uh, but long story short, I was in the hospital for a week. We don't really know what's up. Uh, I have colitis and anemia and I had to get a blood transfusion. So in a sense, I was on death's doorstep, uh, but I'm better now. I'm on strict bed rest and my muscles are somehow weaker than before. <laughs> I'm sorry for the lack of uploads and all, I just really haven't had the energy, and anyone that like, has left any comments on my videos recently, thank you, I haven't got a chance to see them because a lot's been going on, but all the comments I normally get are just really sweet and lovely and rest assured, I just, I would love to respond to them, I just don't ever know how to because you guys are too kind and my heart just turns to goo every time someone's nice to me and I'm just like, medical intercut. Uh, so I went back to the hospital for a week and I have severe pan ulcerative colitis. Uh, I'm getting treated now, but uh, oh boy was it rough. I got a colonoscopy and I will never eat mangoes again and I'm almost certain that I will smell like a hospital until I die. Uh, which might be soon because I also have some kind of cough fever thing going on, like the flu or something. And, uh, but anyways, on to the actual speed paint. Now, I'm sure as you've noticed just about this second, the footage isn't playing just yet. And in fact, I'm just showing you images from my sketchbook and uh, different sketch stages. And there's a reason for that. Uh, it's because I flubbed up. See, I got a new laptop for Christmas and it's fixed a lot of the issues I had before. But one thing I forgot to think about was software compatibility. And, uh, well, it turns out Hypercam 2 saves files as an AVI, and that's a really bulky, outdated format. And my new video editing software, that's right, I've upgraded from Windows Movie Maker, and I'm very afraid. <laughs> uh, well, it doesn't really like AVI very much. It crashed like every five seconds when I uploaded it up there. Um, so I tried to convert the footage to uh, an mp3 format and I somehow missed the fact that it was a demo software and it only gave me three minutes from each hour and a half long clip and like a fool I deleted the old files and I can't fix my sins. So this was my best solution. Um, as you can clearly see through this, uh, it's a draw this again that which character I drew at the beginning of last year and I tackled the process much differently before. See, as soon as I finished last year's, I wanted to redo it again already. Like, immediately. Like, I almost instantly was like, oof, I want to do it again. Uh, but I held out because I knew it hadn't been long enough and I'd just keep reworking it till I was sick of it if I did that. Uh, but a few ma months back, it was close to the new year and I wanted to sketch an out, out an idea, so I started doing research. That's right, research. If there's one thing I was super disappointed in from last year, it was the outfit I put the witch in. Um, I think honestly it just got put on the back burner, especially compared to the lighting effects. And I'd already been watching a lot of historical dress and costume makers recently, so it just kind of turned into the perfect storm. <coughs> <coughs> The main inspiration for the outfit was Bernadette Banner's video where she corrects Halloween costumes that are based, uh, heavy quotation marks, on historical dress, and the one that I focused on specifically was the pilgrim outfit. I did of course however add a few of my own flares to it, and that are entirely historical blasphemy. The amount of jewelry she's wearing is a big one since the outfit is based on is like for lower class, but pish posh. It looks neat. <laughs> I also had her tie up like her longer overskirt layer since I wanted to draw the shoes and the length of the time period isn't exactly, exactly practical. Uh, and most of all, I added a high collar. 
<laughs> I added a high collar because I think it looks neat and really it's nothing more. I'm sure if Bernadette Banner saw this, she'd be most displeased by my historical inaccuracy. Or maybe she'd understand that it's a fun high fantasy concept and would begrudgingly accept that it's only a loose interpretation? I'm not exactly sure of my grasp of her personality, which is actually kind of interesting to think about the fact that we don't really know much about the content creators we follow. Like, I know she likes historical dress and hates fast fashion, but other than that, I'm not really aware of her hobbies and who she is as a person. Um, after I designed the outfit, though, I went about sketching an idea of the layout I wanted. Right. And from the beginning, I wanted something with some sort of depth. Um, I really, this time, played around with blur and, like, what was the most detailed. And I, I wanted the room to, like, feel like it was really close together and cramped. I, I do not think that I managed that at all. It's overall a lot better than the first and even second drawing, but there's just something about it from the sketch that didn't quite translate to the final product. And I think the reason for that was I wanted to show too much detail of the witch and what she was doing, and I didn't trust myself to cover any part of her. Um, next time, if there is a next time, I will be doing this entirely differently. Uh, another issue I had was the color palette. I don't know what it is, but there's something about it that's off. Um, I think the character itself has balance to it, and I'm okay with her palette, but like the rest of the piece and the lighting, there's just something about it that I just, it's not right, and I'm not quite happy with it. Um, something I am happy with, however, is the angle. I used a grid system, which I don't always utilize like I should, and it definitely paid off. Um, I do super hate the lighting though. I'm not sure uh, what about it I could have done differently, but I don't really like how it turned out. Well, I like some aspects of it, like the lighting in the face and like some sections I'm pretty proud of overall, but just I'm really just pleased with the level of everything overall. Like the background doesn't match the characters in a lot of detail. And there's something wrong with the cats. Um, just I'm not quite happy with all the positive aspects of it.